Kendrick Lamar is the first rapper to win a Pulitzer Prize for music, a seminal achievement for Kendrick, for hip hop, and for the Pulitzer board. Kendrick has been considered one of hip hop's best writers for years, a man who can write complex rhymes and tell touching stories and really make you feel every word he's saying. He's the first rapper to win a Pulitzer for music, an achievement long overdue for hip hop and for the Pulitzer board. Kendrick is from Compton, California, a notoriously violent city. But in hip hop, Compton is hallowed ground. It's the birthplace of giants like Dr. Dre and Easy E from NWA, as well as DJ Quick, MC8, and The Game. It's a gritty place, but also a place where a lot of people have grit. Serena Williams, Ava DuVernay, and Richard Sherman are all from Compton. Kendrick grew up around gang life, seeing dead bodies in the street, and trying to survive the war on drugs. As he once wrote, he was, quote, just a good kid trying to keep it neutral, trying to keep it positive. He put out his first mixtape in 2004 at the age of 16 under the pseudonym K-Dot, but he made his name with his studio albums. First Section 80 in 2011, then Good Kid Mad City in 2012, then to Pimp a Butterfly in 2015, and last year, damn. He's won 12 Grammys and massive respect. Real hip hop heads hold him up as one of the smartest people in the genre and a sophisticated musical mind. For many fans, giving Kendrick a Pulitzer is not confirmation of Kendrick's greatness because they already knew that. A century and a half ago, young Joseph Pulitzer found his way from Budapest to America and created a publishing empire. He died in 1911, and in his will, he founded the prizes that would create his legacy. Awards for journalism, letters, drama, and education. The Pulitzer Prize for Music was added in 1943. The winners have all been extraordinary, but they've been limited to classical and jazz. So the message from the Pulitzer board was clear. All the real intelligence and greatness in music is in classical and jazz, period. In 2008, the board gave a special citation to Bob Dylan, finally recognizing a genius songwriter from outside of classical and jazz, but just one. Did the board really mean to say there's not one contemporary musical genius? By crowning Kendrick, a hip-hop artist in the prime of his career, the Pulitzer board has sent a message larger than just, that guy's brilliant. It's saying hip-hop is a complex art form that deserves respect from America's most august institutions. But what about the many people who already knew Kendrick was a genius songwriter? Who already knew that hip-hop contains evidence of the brilliance of its creators of black Americans? For them, the Pulitzer going to Kendrick says nothing about Kendrick that they didn't already know. But it does tell them something about the Pulitzer. Finally, this hallowed American institution has woken up to realize that there's genius in hip hop. I've been writing my whole life, so to get this type of recognition, it's beautiful. Congratulations. And with that, we've melded the legacies of a hardworking Hungarian immigrant and a once in a generation musical talent from Compton. Damn.